Hi, here is Evgeny Stasenko. Glad to welcome you. Today I am going to speak about the square by Ruben Ostlund, uh, which I enjoyed recently. Uh, this film was awarded the Palme d'Or at Cannes Film Festival. The theme of the film is uh, contemporary art with all its peculiarities uh, and the interaction of this art uh, with uh, people for uh, whom it exists as it seems to us. I really liked the movie, including the fact that it asks the right questions. The connection between the title of the film and uh, Kazimir Malevich's uh, painting Black Square, in my opinion, is uh, not accidental. Just as Malevich canvas uh, summed up uh, his uh, creative searches, the square by Ruben Ostlund sums up his own experience in the field of contemporary art. The film begins with an interview by Christian, a curator of Contemporary Art Museum, to a journalist. He asked her a question that has long been asked by various people, both those who are related to art and those who are not. If an object is placed in a museum, does it make this object a work of art? The journalist could not answer Christian questions, but in his film, Ostlund himself tries to answer it. Actually, this is a question about the criteria for evaluating a work of art. What determines the criteria for valuing a work? Of course, curators and critics can explain absolutely everything. But experts' opinions are not very helpful when museum visitors perceive exhibits directly, face to face. And in Ruben Oslund's film are shown such direct contacts between viewers and work of art. The first work of art that appears in the film is the square. It's an installation that represents a limited area of four by four meters. According to the uh, author's idea, inside the square, all people are equal and trust each other. The artist's manifesto states, the square is sanctuary of trust and care. Inside it, uh, we all have equal rights and responsibilities. Uh, what uh, happens inside uh, the square during the course of a film? Anything, anything happens very Exactly the same things that happen outside the square and sometimes even more brutal. Uh, the object simply does not fulfill its declared function as a sanctuary of trust and care. Another art object shown in the film is an installation called You Have Nothing, uh, consisting of uh, neat piles of gravel arranged in rows. Uh, and uh, here a museum employee informs Christian with a horror that these neat piles of gravel were spoiled during the cleaning. They are now not as they were. The expensive exhibit has suffered. Christian suggests correcting the piles 
based on uh, available photographs in response to the employee's question about whether any changes to the original arrangements of stones will be noticeable, Christian reassures her uh, no one will notice anything. Uh, this raises uh, a question not only about the dubious uniqueness of the exhibit, but also about uh, impact on the viewer if changes are not noticeable by viewers, it means that uh, they are simply indifferent to the exhibit, both in its altered and original version. And the third work shown in the film is performance by Oleg Rogozin, an artist who portrays an ape. It is easy to see the resemblance of this uh, character to Oleg Kulik, a man-dog. Rogozin enters a banquet hall full of people and acts as a gorilla. In the end, he becomes uh, so aggressive that it goes uh, beyond the boundaries. As a result, the guests fight back and um, beat the artist up. In this case, the impact on the viewer uh, is clearly present, although uh, there is a question about the value of such an impact. But there is another side to the question here. At the moment when the performance turns into physical violence against the viewer, this impact ceases to be an art and becomes ordinary misconduct. Art cannot be a literal uh, replica of life. Art exists uh, in the framework of its expressive means, which uh, cannot be replaced by replicating reality. And uh, in the case of the final scene of Rogozhin's performance, all the action turned into an ordinary fight. The main character bears uh, many similarities to the film's director, Ruben Ostlund himself. Moreover, the installation, the square, is actually his own art project created in uh, 2014 in collaboration with producer Hel Bowman. The installation consisted of a, a section of cobblestones with a sign explaining to bypassers that people should show trust and care towards each other within this area. Uh, however, in real life, the square installed in the central square of the city of Vernamo was used for purposes uh, other than intended. Lovers uh, started scheduling meetings in the square. It was used uh, for protest actions. And once a flower was found uh, within the installation with a note, uh, Thank you to those who helped our son. All of this apparently became the impetus for creating a film that tells the story of how, in many cases, contemporary art simply does not work, despite its beautiful declaration and manifestos. It just uh, doesn't touch people, doesn't have an impact on the viewer. Uh, this does not mean that all contemporary art is worthless. I can name numerous uh, magnificent uh, works in this field that possess an impressive power of uh, artistic expression and uh, uh, bear the imprint of uh, talent and humanism. This happens when the artists do not limit themselves by trying to please curators and critics. When they directly address the viewer and find artistic means to transmit experience 
which we want to share. It doesn't matter whether we use uh, oil on canvas or a coil of fire. If the viewer is moved, if the resonance is achieved, then art has fulfilled its function. So I'll finish off for now. Hope to see you again. Subscribe, watch videos, give likes, write comments. Have a good time. Mm -hmm.